Okay, gentlemen, we are live now. So today we discuss on golf, professional golf especially, and uh, COVID, effects of COVID, and also a little bit about your personal golf. Where are you and what kind of goal you have in future? Uh, and also we have got a, we got today four very senior, uh, two very senior players and also Amanda's young talented players. So let me introduce them first. I have got Chirak Kumar. He is from India and he is a Asian board player board member. Uh, beside that, he is also a senior player in a, a PGTI. So he's playing in both tour. Welcome, Mr. Chirak Kumar. Good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you, sir, for having me on the show. Okay. Next, we have Mr. Aman Raz. He is also from India. He's also an Asian tour player. And also he plays in PGTI. So welcome, Mr. Aman Raj. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. OK. And lastly, we have a local boy from Bangladesh. He is Saka Tusenswil, basically a Asian development pro player. And also he plays some tour, Asian tour events, and also BPGA. So welcome to you all of, uh, together. And I would like to start with Mr. Chirak Kumar first, a senior player here, and senior person here. So. Mr. Chirak, I know your career. You had been a leading player for PGT and Asian Tour. You won one Asian Tour already in Panasonic Open in November 2015, where Siddhikur was runners up by a stroke. You also won silver medal in Asian Games in 2006 as amateur. You also won four PGT tournaments. I see your record. And also, you were player of the year in 2011. So, you have a very glorious past, in fact. Indeed, and as a very good player in any standard. So up to 2017-18, we have seen you having a very good run in Asian Tour and PGTI. So after this COVID, can you gain control again on your game, personal game, and tell us something about your strength? Is it in long game or in short game? Well, I think uh, the effects of COVID are yet to be seen. You know, it's uh, it's going to be some time before we are back uh, playing competitive golf. I feel, um, uh, especially you know, with uh, things in India right now, they're not that great. Uh, the spike is uh, predicted to come only slightly later in the year, and uh, with uh, travel restrictions, you know, to other countries and stuff, we don't really know when we're going to start playing. So. You know, getting back to form, I'm sure all of us will uh, make the best efforts we can to get back to, you know, the top of our game. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, we're all uh, hoping to uh, start off as soon as possible. Golf courses are opening up. So, getting back to the golf course is something that we've all been uh, looking forward to. And uh, now that uh, that's uh, going to happen, um, you know, I'm sure we'll uh, play our way back into form. Okay. Thank you. Stand by, please. Uh, let me bring Mr. Aman Raj uh, this time. Mr. Aman, can you hear me, please? Yep, yep, I can. Okay. Mr. Aman, I know you You are, uh, you are an Asian Tour player. You just finished, uh, you missed a just a championship in Sabah Open, uh, where you just missed the tie. You were, you just, right. uh, I mean, you were separated by a tie. So I also see, so that in your career, you have owned a Joypur Open PGTA event. And also, you had been in Chittagong, Bangladesh, number of times. You just nearly missed the Chittagong yeah. Open. Also, I saw you in Asian Tour in Dhaka, number of times. So, where are you now playing in both Asian Tour and PGTI? And where are you going with your game? Yes, I am playing uh, whatever, how many ever tournaments I can uh, so after Asian Tour. Yes, of course, because my main concern is Asian Tour right now. But I have to keep my card and uh, my position on the PGTI as well. So I, I try to play as much as I can on the PGTI as well. But um, you know, right now I don't know. I can I would play wherever and whatever round I can because it's uh, it's been like I feel like it's been ages that I have played a tournament. So I would want to go to the next level to the European Tour or to the PGA Tour. But uh, this is this is the stepping. Uh, you know, uh, this is my another step to firstly maintain my card on the Asian Tour win a tournament if i can pretty soon and then go forward okay okay stand by thank you uh, let me l bring also my uh, local guest that is mr swell uh how are you mr swell i'm fine thank you sir hello everyone okay 
Suhel, I want to know that you have been also in the past in our show. You are a leading professional golfer of Bangladesh. After Siddiqur, if you can name names few, then it will be one. You are playing in ADT, I know, Asian Development Tour. You also own Asian Development Tour by this time. And you also have been leading amateur in Bangladesh for a long time. You Once you own Asian, sub, South Asian Games, along with Rashid Khan and Chikappa in 2011, maybe. After right, that, sir. you are in Asian Development Tour. Uh, this question, I think, earlier also I asked. And this Rashid Khan and Chikappa and others, they are playing in Asian Tour. Some of them have gone to even European Tour. So where are you going? Where, where is your game now? Well, uh, at the moment, I'm playing um, Asian Development Tour and uh, beside that, some of Asian Tour. Uh, my goal is this year, uh, if I could uh, keep my Asian Tour card, that will be best for me. And uh, beside that, I'm trying to improve my game a little bit also because uh, as I'm going through a little bit of physical uh, tough condition, so I'm trying to improve and cover it. So let's see where I can go after this COVID-19. Okay. Uh, then uh, let me follow back to Mr. Chirakumar again, our senior member. So Mr. Chirakumar, uh, I saw, I know also that you are a board member of Asian Tour. Uh, so if you can share some experience, also some expertise about Asian Tour structure, PGTA structure, so that our this young BPGA professionals can be benefited uh, how they should move with their tour. So uh, as a board member, player board member, can you tell me how their structure is like after board member, how the management is run, how the player participate in the tour activities? Well, uh, the two structures are uh, very similar also and little different, you know, having said uh, that uh, uh, they are elected by the same process of election uh, where, um, uh, you know, the Asian tour, we have a very big TPC. It's uh, almost nine members that are on the TPC. And then the TPC amongst them selects the chairman and the vice chairman, which get a seat on the board. Uh, and along with uh, the two players who are from the TPC, there are other elected, uh, not elected, but people who are invited onto the board to be part of the board who can guide us uh, and guide the tour into the right direction. On the PGTI, it's more of a player on board where there are a you know, maximum number of players on the board and uh, only one person from uh, the TPC uh, gets to sit in the board meetings. He's not a board member, but he uh, gets to sit uh, in the board meetings to know uh, what's happening on the board and that they can communicate it to the players, but they are both uh, sort of elected. Uh, there's a separate election for the board and there's a separate election for uh, the TPC. Okay, the, so in these elections, do, do the players do vote for the board members or only player members in your player committee and also board player committee, uh, player board members? No. Only only the players are allowed to vote. And, uh, for players? Then, yes, for players. Uh, like I said, there is no there is no election of the other board members like who are part of the board. Uh, only there's an election only for the playing uh, playing members, the members who are uh, players. Uh, Top sixty. And on, yes, and on the on the no on the on the PGTI, you do not have to be part of the top sixty to be elected onto the board. Uh, you have to just be a member of the professional golf tour of India. Um, and on the Asian tour, they basically elect the TPC and the TPC within themselves elect two members from the TPC who represent the TPC and the players on the board. But they are official board members. Okay. Okay. That's great. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chirakumar, I'll come back to you. Let me fall back to Aman Raz now again. Uh, Mr. Aman Raz, I know you are a young, talented player and you are yet to, uh, I mean, Asian tour you have explored and you are also moving forward. So can you tell me this COVID, how does it affect your game? And from here, where do you like to move, like I asked others? Um, I I haven't played much, to be honest. So I, I don't think if it has affected my game at all. If anything, it has gotten better because uh, I had got time to relax and uh, give some rest to my muscle. And uh, so now I've been I've been back at it. I've been practicing golf enough, working out. So I think my game is there, but only way to prove it or have a chance to know better is to play a tournament. I feel I feel I'm at a good place. Yeah. Okay, okay that's great. That's great. Please stand by. Uh, Suel, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. 
Okay, so uh, what's about Bangladeshi player, player? What they're doing during COVID? What's about their financial condition? As all the clubs are closed, they cannot practice, no tournament, no coaching, no training. So, what is their status? What they're doing and uh, how they are passing their time? Well, uh, as long as I know, uh, they are going through some problem, especially financially. And uh, some of our, uh, they are doing some business because, as you all know, that is a golf course is closed and we really don't know when it's going to be open. So, some of are doing some business and uh, some of are staying at home just to make sure that they are staying safe. And um, Besides that, as far I know, some of uh, local caddies and uh, our BPJS member, there are uh, one small land, the place called uh, BRP. So they just go there and practicing like 50 and 60 yards and playing some small. Why is the place? Why is the place? Uh, the, the, the place called uh, BRP. It's uh, just beside the CRP uh, Mirpur 14 sector, oh, as you oh. know that. So okay. but it's basically it's just basically a football field. So okay. they just they just don't want to get bored at home. So, so any idea, any idea, all the golf courses, courses about 15 or 20, whatever it is in Bangladesh, 18 hole or 9 hole. Uh, do you have any idea as you're the one of the leading player, senior player, when it is going to reopen? Uh, well, uh, to be honest, I really don't know when it's going to be open. But um, uh, as long as I know, most of the, the golfer from the KGC or Savar or uh, wherever from Bangladesh, they're really exciting to hear that news that when it's going to be open. The same question I'm actually I would like to ask my uh, president or uh, some of the higher authorities. Okay, so thank you very much. I'll come back to you. Let's uh, try to bring someday your president and secretary if they agree. And also, uh, now let me uh, bring Mr. Chira Kumar again to know about Indian golf. Uh, Mr. Chira Kumar, as I was talking to you, almost all many of the golf course in India is open and you have started practicing after uh, your shutdown period. And I know you, you have been doing very good in uh, you have been in Asian tour here in Bangladesh a number of times. You have been in PGTI, in Chittagong, in Dhaka. Almost you know Bangladeshi main two golf course. So tell us something like uh, what's about Indian? Uh, if all whether all the all the golf courses are open, and again, what is your experience in Bangladesh playing in Bangladesh? Well, uh, like I said, all the golf courses are not open yet. It just depends from city to city. Like uh, a place like Mumbai, Maharashtra. Uh, no golf courses are open in the state of Maharashtra right now because of the state of lockdown. Uh, in Tamil Nadu, golf courses are still not open because of the lockdown. Um, but like in Delhi, in Punjab, in uh, Calcutta, in um, Bangalore, in Karnataka, the golf courses are opening slowly and slowly. Um, but there are still some golf courses like, you know, which are uh, uh, like with the armed forces because they're in the containment area. They don't open those golf courses right now because they want to prevent people from coming into the containment area to restrict the spread. So those golf courses are still not open. But uh, yes, slowly and steadily, uh, most of the golf courses uh, are going to uh, um, uh, open. And as far as my experience in Bangladesh is concerned, I've been many times to Bangladesh, mostly to play the Asian Tour event at, uh, at Dhaka at Kovitola Golf Club. And uh, I really enjoy myself uh, when I come to Kovitola Golf Club. I really like the golf clubs there. And uh, uh, you know the food is also pretty similar to Indian food. And there's uh, also some good shopping to be done in, in Dhaka, so I don't, I don't mind coming to Dhaka. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> well Jack Kumar. So, uh, in fact, I want, uh, I, I'll ask you about PGTA happening in Bangladesh as you are a leading player. Uh, how do you expect PGTA to be conducted in, uh, often conducted in Bangladesh mode? Okay, let me bring Aman and ask him. Uh, Aman, uh, what's about your, yes. I mean, experience in Bangladesh, number one? Number two, I want to know if, about your father. I saw your record. Your father, Mr. Rajkumar uh, Rasinga, he was the legendary coach in Shashi India. Yeah, uh, Rasinga. 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 I understand yeah. he was a legendary golf coach. So with that solid background and your solid game, I saw you playing in uh, Bangladesh, Dhaka, Akumitula uh, course in Calcutta, in uh, other places also. You have a very solid game like uh, Cherak and other good players. So. You told your goal that you want to play in PG, PGA, but what's about, I mean, now, PG, is PGTA is happening soon or Asian Tour is happening soon? Well, 
thank you for all the compliments and yes i would want to be i would want to experience what all chirag sir and all the leading players of india has experienced but uh, as far as pg chai is concerned i i mean chirag sir will be a better person to say but i doubt it's going to i mean it depends only on the cases how it increases in india or how bad it becomes uh, i have a good feeling if it all comes down to normal soon then uh, we we will have a few events by the end of the year okay uh, okay uh, uh, somebody gave some comment let me read it maybe it is for chirag kumar so i'll come back to you let me bring sir chirag kumar uh, yeah no somebody problem wants, uh, somebody wants uh, to visit chirag kumar to visit uh, hdc sabar golf club never he has visited so uh, okay chirag that means you have at least some known faces in bangladesh okay let me uh, bring chirag again Uh, yes, it's Chirag in this team. Chirag Kumar. So, uh, what's about this uh, PGTI happening? Uh, when PGTI can start next uh, their season after COVID? And what's about Bangladesh uh, was conducting few tournaments? So, what is your expectation? Uh, the PGTI happening in Bangladesh, in India, Asian Development Tour, Asian Tour uh, taking place in India, Bangladesh. What's your, uh, I mean, expectation? You know, it's it's hard to sort of uh, say exactly what's going to happen because you know, like I mentioned earlier, the ICMR has indicated that there's going to be a spike slightly later on. Right now, we've not hit our peak as yet. So, if that holds true, then uh, you know it's going to be tough. But uh, fingers crossed that uh, we can start off uh, as soon as possible. And uh, I mean, my my personal gut feeling is that by October. On November, we should be able to, uh, you know, start a few tournaments at least till the end of the year in India. Um, and I'm sure every professional golfer in India and people coming into India from other places who play on the PGA are hoping for that. So uh, I certainly hope, uh, you know, that uh, will happen. And uh, uh, talking about, you know, more events in Bangladesh and joint sanction events with PGA and Asian Tour. I think you know all of us from India like coming to Bangladesh to play. So we are really hoping that there are some more tournaments uh, where we can you know come and play, and they add to our uh, schedule also. And it's very good for uh, the Bangladeshi players also to play with you know, joint sanction events with the PGI and with the Asian Tour because I think that also raises their standard of uh, of, of their game and it uh, helps them get to the next level. Okay. Okay. Let me bring now Swell, and then I'll forward back to you, Aman Raj, and also Chirag again, uh, maybe for the last time. Swell, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, Swell. Uh, in Bangladesh, uh, you say that the people are in crisis. I mean, they have financial problems, also that kind of practice. So, from here, where professionals can move, and what is the future of professional golf in Bangladesh? What is your view as a player? Where do you see? Professional golf BPJ lending uh, after COVID. Well, uh, I really don't know, but uh, seems to me like that is um, it's gonna be a little bit of tough uh, after this COVID nineteen. But I believe that um, if the corporate sector, uh, BPGA and Bangladesh Golf Federation and Kulmitula Golf Club, if they are able to work together, I'm sure that it. Will be easy to um, easy to overcome from the COVID nineteen. Okay, thank you for your opinion. I, I also wish the same. Let me bring Mr. Aman Raj again. Uh, Mr. Aman, uh, yep. so your Aman Raj. So there is a question. I think I can see. Uh, I can find that question for you. Somebody has asked, where are you playing now? And also, we uh, can afford them. Okay. I got the question. He has written a long questions for you. If I could show, uh, this is in, uh, has gone in this call. Okay, that is the question. Is uh, I mean, PGTI, uh, how they produce a gem of players like you, one after another, one after another, coming from national ranks, and then they throw it to Asian tour, they go uh, to European tour, and then somebody has also gone to PG, uh, American PGA, US PGA. Uh, why PGTA, PGTA can afford to produce such player and other stores like Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, other countries, uh, neighbors, they cannot produce good players. Well, you are all, you are just comparing to that, that it's, it's a little tough. Uh, comparing to that, it's a little tough. But PGTI, I would say Indian Tour has like has been there. It 
it becomes it it's better because of the leading players which we have had like jeet milka singh and uh, you know arjun atwal and when they started going out to play all the other players were very very uh, you know inspired that they can become the same go to the same level and try at the same level and pgti as it has the it holds a spot for final stage in asian tour uh, it gives a lot more opportunity as like the asian tour there we have i think around four or five three to four asian tour events so if you play well in those uh, events you have a good chance to get your card on the asian tour and then you can move forward to the european tour or the pga so that is one of the reason why we can go there and if that if the other question is there then i guess the number of players is a lot uh, is a lot less in sri lanka bangladesh or uh, the neighboring countries but they do come and play the pgti and they also have the same uh, kind of opportunity to play nation tour events as well so i think it every anyone can do that it just depends on when is their week and when is their time so i think it's it's all open for everyone okay i'll come back i'll come back uh, let me bring mr chirak kumar uh, our senior person here mr chirak uh, the same question for you uh, that i asked to mr aman raj pgti we found last few years especially five years one after another uh, producing very good player at central level and your pgti score also has gone up high after world ranking so all this happening and you also have a very good solid amateur backup like your national ig also producing a lot of amateurs they are coming to pgta and they are going to just uh, coming to pgta doing good and going to asian tour and also european tour so what is your uh, long experience says about this that why india can afford to produce so many good players uh, for india uh, before i answer your question i would like to thank the person who invited me to come to sjc uh when i come to bangladesh next um and uh, to to answer your uh, question i think it's the competition um you know we we've, we've always had some very very good players uh, uh you know in the past who we've all looked up to and you know now the people who are coming and the players who are coming they see a very high level of competition and they know that you know for them to uh you know survive even on the pgti before they can go out they have to raise their game to a very high level like aman has done you know i mean he's, he's still a youngster but he's come in and he's played really well in his first two years and he's already out of the asian tour and now that he goes on to the asian tour he can see what he needs to do to get to the next level because when he plays these joint sanction events and these big events he knows the level that he's competing with so i think that's the thing you know we always had a few people who uh, you know had gone out in the past who were uh, flag bearers for indian boys and we always looked up to them and we always knew that we need to get to their level before we can uh, do anything else so now with so many of these you know players who have uh, been abroad and who are playing on the asian tour uh, and when they come back and play here they inspire a lot of the youngsters to you know play at the same level and even within the pgti uh, you know the scores are so so good that if you have an asian tour event uh, in india and you have a pgti event on the same course the winning score would probably be the same so you know the level of golf is uh, the same and that's probably the reason why we can produce uh, players year on year to go out and play okay but there's very good few points that you have uh, um, brought okay now let me fall back to suhel for last time suhel can you tell me about uh, your advice for the juniors uh, amateurs and professional golfer in bangladesh how they should keep themselves fit during this covid and again after covid how should do they say, uh, should, should they fall back and how professionals of bangladesh can develop themselves like you if they want to go to agt or want to go to uh, pgti want to go to asian tour for playing well, uh, at this moment uh, i'd like to advise everyone uh, stay home and stay safe that's the first priority Uh, second uh, if they got a chance and if they got a have time uh, they should focus a bit of uh, physical exercise something like uh, stretching push ups sit ups you know something like this and uh, after that uh, like as we all know that we are going through a little bit of tough time uh, it's not for only golfer it's uh, for everyone so uh if they focus a little bit of on their um, physical activities that would be the best and uh, 
uh, if you uh, ask me that uh, how they can uh, go ADT level or Asian to level, then I must say um, they should uh, make their goal first, you know, what they want to be and where they want to see themselves in next five years or next 10 years or next three years. So okay, it could so be... Uh, just let me add you. I got a question from some audience uh, by seeing you, maybe they were asking, that is, um, you already answered one, like, uh, how is the state of your professional golfer? But why not champion from Bangladesh for last seven years? Why professionals are suffering? And why BD professionals, BD professional golf is not moving? So can you answer these questions or is it too tough for you? Well, uh, this question I would like to leave for you guys, especially you, one of the PGA <laughs> committee member, and uh, I have a more higher authority like my president or general okay. secretary. Or general okay, secretary. okay, I can share so also that, from the back with you that, yes. yeah, the PGA yes. is a very, I mean, just a, uh, you may, I mean, just we are born before five years. So you guys are there yes. with you, uh, I mean, administrator there, but BPJ is run by basically professional player donations. So uh, during this crisis, I think they have helped some of the professionals, but maybe yeah, some of the professional missed as yes, we have more than 200 professionals. So maybe top 100 has got something, but other have not. And again, uh, for COVID, in fact, we don't have any hands on that. I, sh I go with you. Uh, and again, the champions like Siddiq and Suhail, you don't expect every year. Hopefully, hopefully, with the joint ventures and with the taking more part in PGTAs and Asian troops, I think some golfers will come out. PG, we play, playing in PGTA, uh, more competitive tournaments, I think people will come. Okay. And uh, lastly, what is the advice for the juniors that you had been telling if, if you finish? Well, the uh, juniors should actually uh, focus uh, more on their routine. That would be the best for them. Like... Uh, if they come golf course, they should focus that uh, where they have a weak part, like short game or long game or bunker shot or putting. They should practice more on their weak part, you know, and then make one goal, like where they want to see themselves next five years, you know. And uh, if they could make one good routine and if they connect with their coach or um, gym trainer, I'm sure that uh, they can help them more and uh, I'm sure they can achieve their goal you know, what they want to be. Okay, as I'm getting more and more questions, maybe people know, uh, also, I, I, so, uh, Mr. Chirak, somebody has asked a question to you. You defeated Siddiquri in 2016 uh, in Panasonic Open by one single shot. So he wants to know, the audience wants to know your experience in that uh, tournament, number one. And, okay, tell that first, yeah, your experience that, in that tournament. Well, you know, the thing is that I, I had been in some close competition with Siddiqui for a long time. Uh, we played a lot of amateur golf together. We also, you know, very turn pro and played on the PGTI. So there were many tournaments where, you know, we had neck to neck fights and we, uh, you know, we were very, very close with each other. And uh, we, we are good friends, you know, we've sort of grown up uh, together playing in all these tournaments. So, but when you're in, when you're in that, you know, sort of tournament mode, it's tough to, um, you know, you, you only, you're only focusing on, on your game and you're trying to win and trying to do the best that you can. But uh, I always knew that, you know, he's going to be a very tough uh, guy to beat at Delhi Golf Club because he'd had some really good performances at Delhi Golf Club. He'd also won the Indian Open a few years before that at Delhi Golf Club. So I knew that, uh, you know, he, his confidence was going to be very high at Delhi Golf Club. But I also had the advantage, you know, of knowing the golf course very well. So I was I was playing some really good golf at that time. So I just stuck to my game plan, and uh, you know, as, as luck would have it, I, I managed to uh, pull off the victory. But it was a great uh, great fight by uh, by both of us that day, and we really went at each other neck to neck till the very last hole. And um, you know, he's he's such a good player. And whenever he gets into contention, he's he's very hard to beat. So uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's, uh, he's a fantastic player. Okay. Okay, Aman Raj, uh, same question to you. Uh, this is a question that you missed just by in, with, uh, in Sabah Open. It was with whom and how did you miss that tie? This is the question for you. And did, I, how many PGTA you own? Another part of that question. I have won only one tournament on the PGTI in Jaipur. And um, 
well for the saba i came on the last day uh, from nowhere so i shot an 8 under to get into the playoff and um, i was the, the playoff was there were four players it was me david leeson and uh, pavit and pachara so it was all four of us and i was actually my adrenaline was pumping high and uh, i was i was just uh, i wasn't actually there at the moment i was i wasn't like realizing what was happening because i have never been in a playoff on the asian tour and i haven't had a good history about the playoffs as well so i was just i was just happy at the moment but i was trying to concentrate uh, to how to play to stick to my game and uh, pull this off but uh, i guess i guess uh, my adrenaline was too high when i hit the second shot i missed it on the right side and it was a tough chip but i put it to around 4 feet and i missed that putt lipped out so i missed my par and all the other guys made par so i was actually out on the first playoff uh, hole the other guys continued and pavit chipped in for birdie at last to win so it was a great feeling to just to you know uh, that you can be there and it's just a matter of time when i when i can do it it's just a good feeling but that helped me meant secure my card for the year that was a good point but yeah i was pretty close i i got done it was, it was okay great. i want to can i add uh, one question more to you what is your experience playing in kurmitula and also in chitagang i mean these two courses you have played in bangladesh 18 hole course how did you yeah. find chitagang golf course and dhaka kurmitula golf course I actually like them both. I actually really like them both. Condition-wise, uh, Kurmitola is a lot better. And the greens and the fairways are uh, much better in shape. But I like the layout of Chittagong Golf Club as well. I've played. Uh, I've played some decent golf on both the golf courses. And just in general, Bangladesh. I have a few friends, and just to get back to the country, it's uh, it's fun to meet me to meet my friends and then play good golf and. Uh, just just be happy around around the scenario because people are really welcoming over there and i love the food over there so course wise i really love both the golf courses okay last question to you again what if you want to name your sponsor name because this in this uh, i mean talk show always with whoever we talk they declare their sponsor so that they also if they uh, i mean they see they will be happy what is the name of your sponsor in india uh i am i am sponsored by callaway right now for the equipment and apparel and uh, callaway the, but i am not really yeah callaway callaway is the brand which i'm sponsored by and yeah i don't have any other uh, sponsor okay, great. for the great for the well, anything, yeah. Yeah. okay, okay. if you want to tell about anything on sponsor um, aman go ahead um well it would have been great would have been a lot of uh, uh It was a, would have been a lot easier to play out there, you know, when I knew that someone is taking care of my travel and uh, expenditure. But uh, there's there's a way to go for it, and I believe I will get good sponsorships in the meantime. I was I was happy playing out there, but yeah, it is expensive to play on the Asian Tour and uh, everywhere else. Awesome. Golf as it is is expensive, but I think yes. that will come. Right now, we have a lot more things to worry about. Okay. Of course, it will come. Of course, it will yeah. come, and you are rising. Of course, it will come. Uh, Sunil, the last question yes, to you: Who is your sponsor? And then uh, tell something as as you have been telling. Who is your sponsor, and where? What is your goal? Well, sir, uh, at the moment, my sponsor is Energies, Mr. Uh, Jabed Hussain Choudhury, um, and uh, my goal is uh, I would like to see myself in Asian Tour, uh, some of more tournament wins, uh, hopefully after this COVID nineteen. Just uh, finger cross, and let's hope the best. Okay, that's great. Just in short, you finished. So these questions came from a Bangladeshi or who is he? I don't know. His name is Asfan Sharma. Why Bangladesh government do not look after golf even after the owners of golf clubs? Why army not seeking help to minister? Okay, this is a question like army golf. I mean, the golf courses are mainly owned by army, and then uh, army authority or golf club management authority board. Golf board, I mean uh, BPG or BGF. I think the he meant 
army can seek help to ministry. Of course, we agree with him. Army can seek help to ministry for development of golf. Okay, Swell, so thank you very much, Swell. Let me bring Mr. Chirakum for Chirak Kumar for the last time. Uh, Chirak, can you hear me, please? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Chirak Kumar, your, uh, I mean, your advice for us, for the junior specialists, junior professionals, like junior amateurs, uh, how they should keep themselves fit in uh, COVID, during COVID and after COVID, how they should fall back, and about uh, your last likings of Kunmitula and uh, Chitang, if you have any. Yes, I think uh, you know for the for the juniors and the amateurs and even the professionals, uh, you know, who are um, uh, playing on the tour. I think this is a great time for everybody to take as much positive as they can out of the out of the situation. It's a very tough situation that everybody's in, but try and make the best of it um, in terms of your fitness or keeping taking care of yourself. That's the most important thing uh, that one can do at this point in time. And uh, for me, my uh, the last time I came to Bangladesh, I think was for the Chittagong Open uh, last year, maybe, and uh, I think uh, I played pretty good. So I'm looking forward to coming back uh, early next year to uh, to the Golf Club to play the Asian Tour event, and hopefully, uh, you know, I'll have something to celebrate about. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, in fact, I am pleasure. It, is, it was my pleasure to have you all. I think Suhel just left. So thank you very much, Mr. Chirak Kumar and Mr. Aman Raj, all the way from India. You have joined us today. We are obliged. Thank you very much. Thank I have to end this show. Thank you. Bye. Thank Good you. night. Of course, it was lovely. Thank you. Bye, George. Nice. Bye. Bye.